went out of his way to make the workforce within that company 50-50 as much as he could in terms of men and women being represented. So we're talking about engineers, we're talking about tradespeople, we're talking about in workshops, which we're talking at, at the managerial level. If you, if you hire 50% women engineers and 50% male engineers, then the women engineers are less qualified because the pool of engineers is lower among women. So you can't hire 50% women engineers without producing a decrement in the quality of the engineers because the, this, this selection pool is too, is too small. You can't do that on a large scale. You might be able to do that in one company. But look, you think about it mathematically. If there's 10 times as many male engineers as there are female engineers, and you insist upon hiring 50-50, then obviously the degree to which the female engineers are proficient cannot be the same as the degree to which the male engineers are proficient. It's mathematically impossible. So you're saying don't even try? Uh, no, I'm, I'm saying something much more specific than that.